A while ago I got sent this uh, pot stand, uh, stove. Do a review on, do some testing. Um, I'm gonna start using it. Um, I got a Tremendia burner in there. This is a base plate, you can burn wood or biomass fuels and another base plate. Stick it in here, all different heights. You can use um, your soda can stoves or any DIY stove. These heights here, I got it set the top of the jets to the top of the stand is one inch. And you can go down in quarter inch increments, which is a nice feature. You can also use a simmering in there, you still can simmer. You can find it on eBay, he's on eBay and he has a website, fourleafgearcompany.com. A really nice guy, really cool guy to talk to. Uh, but I'm gonna do a boil test. So I'll get everything set up and start going. Okay, this is a stainless steel pot I'm gonna use. It's uh, in a, most of my newer videos. I'm gonna put two cups of water in there. Actually, slightly over two cups of water, but should be okay. You can actually use this stand, it fits the Stanley pot. I'll show you guys in a minute. But um, it fits the Stanley, the popular Stanley pot, all the bushcrafters use. And anything bigger. And this pot's like four and uh, four and something in diameter. It holds four cups. It's actually a stainless mug pot. I got the thermometer here. The monitor here. I'm gonna time it. See how that transit burner does in here. Check the temperature. Temperature is at 43, 42, 41, but I'm gonna light the transfer burner and let it come to a bloom. Water at my altitude boils at 208. It's coming to a bloom. I'm gonna put it on, start the timer. So 41 degrees we started at. Better views, maybe you can see the kind of see the burner. Let's see if I can get uh, get let it burn for a couple of minutes and then you can take another look. It's actually really stable. Um, like you can wiggle the thing around and it won't, it won't come apart or anything. It's a decent price too. It's around twenty bucks. Um, well, plus shipping. But I like it because you don't have to have anything in the center. It's a stationary triangle. Um, my next test, I'm gonna do some wood in there, see how it burns with this plate. This is actually a prototype. I think it's new finished models is slightly different. There's holes in the edges of this, of this. So you can clip it all together with a ring. The gauge of steel and stuff is really, really sturdy, I mean.
I like it. I saw it and I thought it was a, the guy had a really good idea. Especially when I saw it was adjustable, the height. Try it with chimney stoves or pretty much any other stove you can think of. As long as you can get the right height in there. Even if you make your stove two inches high or whatever, you still can use it in there with no plate. Or if you got these shorter stoves, burners I should say, that's what this plate is for. You put it in that, those slots, your burner, and adjust it up and down from there. You actually put a lot of thought in here. But let's see where this goes from here. It's 78 degrees, 79. 80 degrees at 2 minutes and 45 seconds. Let's see how long it takes to boil. The transit is going pretty good. The flame's pretty contained. It's not, it's not coming out up the sides of the pot or anything. Not yet. We'll see how it goes in like six minutes, maybe. It's a really cool setup actually, let me take the camera off. Show you the burner flame pattern, see if I can get, get the flame pattern. There we go. Sorry guys, mounting the camera back on. So at six minutes at one forty three or one forty two or one forty three. Five. Check this thing.
figure for the first try I tried at the everyone calls the one inch pot to jet gap is like the transient sweet spot I'm gonna play around drop it down see to see if it affects it or whatever Okay, at seven minutes now the temperature is really going. I just thought about it is I didn't even check if I had enough alcohol in there <laughs> or heat I'm actually using heat in the yellow bottle this stuff okay 195 and then six seven eight I can hear it, sounds like it's starting. 200, 201. Come on. It actually sounds like it's boiling. So 9 minutes, 25 seconds. It's gonna boil. It's shining with the lights so you can see it. So 9 minutes and 25 seconds, we had a boil. And let's take this off and see how hard it is to put it out. Show the burner. Yeah, that thing's blazing. That's the stove. Burn test number one. I look forward to using it with wood and some other stoves. So stay tuned to my channel. Subscribe if you like it. I did a lot of wood stove reviews and stuff. So if you're interested, take a look. But keep an eye on my channel. I'll be doing more on this stove in the next few days. Thanks for watching.